Hi guys, welcome, welcome to my messy space. Yep, this is what my space looks like, like 95% of the time, you guys. And that's just the way it is. So I'm working on some floral things. While I was busy working today, I'm thinking about paint. And I've done two videos that you probably will not see, and I'm still trying to kind of work out the quirks. Uh, but we're gonna have fun. We're gonna get funky, you guys. We're gonna get funky. So we're gonna do this on my standard four by 16 ceramic tile. And we're using black. I used white. I thought, oh yeah, let's do something in white. And I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. I tried a new white base from Walmart and I, I don't like it. So we're gonna do the black base. And we're gonna try to put on enough that we can swipe. Uh, but enough so that we don't have to spin and really tip a lot of paint off because I really don't want to have to alter my flowers once I get them on. That's my plan, you guys. So I'm going to give you all an excuse to go to Dairy Queen. Because we all need an excuse, right? I don't. I don't need an excuse to go to Dairy Queen. My big excuse should be that over the winter I've gotten a little bit thick through the midsection and Dairy Queen is the last place I need to go. But I don't. I tell myself that when I'm getting in the car to go to Dairy Queen. Or my daughter comes up like last night and says, Mom, why don't we just go get a Sunday? It's like, oh, well, yeah, okay, let's do that. All right, Black Onyx. I know this is hard to see you guys. And we're going to do this entire pour with just super, super easy things that are easy to come by. Like Dairy Queen spoons, you guys. So here is my first tool for this pour. Ah, look it. Dairy Queen spoon. Oh, shit. Well, that's not, shit's not what I meant to say, but shit's what I said. I broke my fancy tool and now I have this much of it. All right. Pardon the language, plug your ears. I apologize. You can do it with any spoon. I just didn't want to wreck a house spoon. So this is Atelier, this is white mix. So it's US Floetrol mix, and this is Atelier Green Block, and this is Amsterdam White. I can't believe I broke my best spoon. Okay, this is Acrylate Brand Bright Orange, Neon Orange right out of the can, and Neon Pink right out of the bottle. All right, we're gonna make some flowers. We're gonna tip it really quick, you guys. So my first one that I did, I was pretty happy with it. The neon looked really cool on, on white base, but as I said, my base I wasn't happy with because the Silmix kind of, I don't know, it kind of gets all weird and my edges weren't crispy. The painting's pretty, but Got to perfect it. So, and the second one I did was on black and it was quite pretty as well. Although my black was thin too much from last night. So now I went back to new black and I only added a small amount of water. Same colors. Again, trying to keep the consistency of my base pretty much perfect so that nothing is moving. We're going to put another, we're just going to keep playing with this, you guys. And then you're all going to go to Dairy Queen. I have to go now. See, I broke my best spoon, my only spoon. What a good excuse. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this blob that I just stuck there. All right, so there would be our first flower. We might only do one. We're gonna do some little buds up on the top. Same thing, green cell mix, white cell mix.
neon pink and neon orange. So these are just going to be the little buds on the flower right up here. If I hate those, I'll just take them off. I don't like the mitt. I don't like this one already. So let's just get rid of that one. Okay, I really want to put another flower on you guys. And I, I think we're going to change this one. There's a lot of white cell mix and I'm not 100% convinced that I'm happy with it. So let's go in that one again. Keep in mind, you guys, this is like the third one of these I've done. So it's still kind of virgin territory. I'm still going to learn. I'm still going to try to work out some recipes of perfect mixes, but these are easy. This is right out of the, right out of the jar, right out of the bottle, not the jar. Okay, let's let that set. Sit. And let's pour another one. Let's make another one down here and then we're going to add some petals. Yeah, we're just going to get funky, you guys. I have five days off. Woohoo! Woo I thought today was never going to end. Like every time I looked at the clock, it was going backwards. I apologize for saying naughty words on my video. This will be an amazing piece because I probably shouldn't air it with swear. Ah, crap. Okay, let's do it. Oh, you're, I'm so dumb sometimes. Look at that. What a bonehead. And that. Oh, it's a good thing I'm cute for an old chicken. All right. That was dumb. I'm just going to keep playing with this and see if we can come up with something that we're happy with. So all we're doing is swiping with a spoon. So all we're doing, nothing fancy you guys. Different tool, that's all. That's why it's so important to, you know, go through your stuff and find like little bits of paper or plastic spoons or popsicle sticks or whatever works for you. Like everything for swiping is gonna feel different to each one individually. All right, so if you wanted to, which I don't <clears throat> right now, you could go back into this and you could just bring all these little edges in and make them much more floral. I'm actually gonna put one more petal up here and they would be really, really easy to modify and really shape them into some flowers. That may be next, but for the purpose of this, which is really just me fiddling around on my Friday night uh, and the camera rolling and me talking all the way through it. So my sole purpose is just to kind of just kind of see what we can do. All right. Palette knife, plain old palette knife, and Liquitex lime green. So this is mixed with pouring medium. It's also mixed with a lot of black paint because I've been playing with this. So we're just going to use it basically straight up. We're not going to add any cell mix. So we're going to load our palette knife, and we're going to make some foliage now. So we're just going to lay this flat. Okay. 
And I think I might need to mix some more up because I don't have enough. Okay, small palette knife, same thing. Okay, that one's a little brighter. How are we gonna tie these together, you guys? So this is just Liquitex Lime on my palette knife, and I'm just gonna come through that bloom and try to make it look like it belongs to something and not just freestyling in the air. I'm gonna do the same with that one. And the same with these little ones up here. Okay, so it's a little bit off balance and I really need something happening down here, but I don't know if I have enough lime. Maybe I do. Let's actually, let's put one with cell mix in. So, Atelier Green Black and Lime and then let's do this. Hmm. You guys like my indecisiveness? Ah, 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 what am I going to do? That's how I live most of my life. Trying to figure out what I'm going to do. All right, you guys, I'm going to love you and leave you there. And I'm going to go to Dairy Queen and get another spoon. Uh, I apologize for my potty mouth. It happens. It's not my intention. I'm going to add another little swoopy thing right here. All right, you guys, I am for sure going to love you and leave you right here. So I think that I can see potential. I think this one needs another petal. And I'm not sure if I can do it without wrecking it all. But we can certainly try. Let's do it together. Sometimes I think everything is beautiful until I step back and then I think, oh, yeah, that's not so good. Atelier green. White. All right, you guys, let's see if we can do this. Let's go in this way. So now I, I wish this one was down. Oh well, it's not. Ho hum. All right, you guys, for sure now. Okay, I'm gonna bring you down for a closer look. That was super fun, you guys, super fun. Hang on. All right, there we are from above. So let's go on and we'll take a little bit of a closer look and then get in the car and go to Dairy Queen, you guys. Get in the car. Yeah, this was a fun little project. I still think that the second flower needs a little bit of work. And it didn't really come together as well as the first one, but I will practice. All right, guys, I'm going to put you on hold. I'll show you my other two that you will not see the video for, but you will be able to see the potential of where we can go. Hang on, guys. Okay, this will be my white one. Same thing. Two palette knives and a spoon. I'm going to put you back on hold. Okay, and this is my first black one. So 
this one's not as interesting and this is where the the base paint was way too liquefied and so it really really ran so it has to be thick base all right my friends get in the car and go to dairy queen i will talk soon